So we were discussing about the classful IP addressing. Now we have to discuss about the class C IP address. So in case of class C IP address, in every in in the first octet, the first three bits are z, uh, one one zero. That is the first three bits are fixed, and all rest five bits can take any combination. Okay. And in case of class C, when we discuss about the class C IP address, then in the complete IP address, in the complete IP address, the first 24 bits are used for network ID and the rest 8 bits are used for host ID. We have network ID and host ID. Now in this network ID, the first 3 bits are 110 and the rest bits can take any combination. That means there are rest uh, 21 bits which are remaining which can take 2s power 21 combination. Therefore, we can have 2s power 21 hosts in case of class C I P address in case of class C I P address right so when we discuss about this in, in case of octets then if we have an IP address like this uh, the first octet is taking any value this is 1101000 dot the next 8 bits next uh, uh, bits can take any combination that is for example is 255.128.127 so I have written this that in decimal because uh, if I write that in uh, binary then it that, that will take a lot of time to convert them but what I mean to say is if we take that in dotted decimal representation then if the first three bits are fixed and the first three bits are 110 then this IP address belongs to class C so the class C IP address starts from this 110 was 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the first IP address up to 110, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, up to so on 110, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this, this is the last IP address of class C uh, of the first octet. This is the last IP address, first IP address of class C of the first octet. Okay. So basically we can take so many different combinations, but this what just I want to say is if, if if the IP address is from 192, this value is 192, to this value which is representing 221, then that IP address belongs to class C. I think it is 221, right? So let me check it. And uh, this is representing 32. So, right. So if I subtract 255, 32 from 255, so there is 3, 223, right? So the last IP address is 223. Last IP address is 223. So that means if given any IP address, if the IP address is like this 192.168.11.42, if the IP address is like this 64.81.91.2087, if the IP address is like this uh, 2. 21.192.123.143 if the IP addresses are like this then then uh, this uh, we can by looking at the first octet you can tell you can tell this is what class uh, to what class the IP address belongs to for example I told you in case of class A IP address if the first octet is 0 to 127 here the first octet is 0 to 127 therefore this IP address is of class A in case of class B, I told you the IP address is first octet is 128 to 191. So 128 to 191. Therefore, this IP address of class B, this IP address is of class B. In case of class C, I told you if the IP address is from 191 to 223 to 223, then the IP address belongs to class C. Then the IP address belongs to class C. So this IP address belongs to class C. And this IP address also belongs to class C. Now in case of class D, the first four bits are fixed. The first four bits are fixed. Therefore, in case of first octet, what are the, what are the values which can have, which we can take? 1100. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, the first octet, the max uh, minimum value of first octet, maximum value can be 1110. 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. And this is representing uh, this is 120. 8 plus 64 plus 32 right so this is 192 plus 32 which is 224 and this is representing uh, this is uh, mm, this one is representing 615 
so this is 239 if the range is from 224 to 239 that is a class d ip address if the range is from 240 to 255 then it is a class e ip address right in case of class d and class b e there is no partition between the host id and the network id so host id and network id both are considered as same in case of class d and class e so uh, by looking just by looking at any ip address you can tell that ip address belongs to class a or class b or class c or class d you can tell to what uh, to what class that particular ip address actually belongs to because we know now there are, uh, you need to know how many hosts can be present in any class and uh, what are the ip addresses which are actually reserved for uh, uh, for uh, you know for any any particular network okay that we will be seeing in the later video right 